Tonight, a heated meeting on the southwest side tonight where the city wants to house a large number of migrants in the Brighton Park neighborhood. WGN's Dana Rebick at that meeting at Kelly High School joins us now with more. Dana. Well, before this meeting started, there was a very long line of people wanting to get inside down the block here from the high school, from Kelly High School. They only allowed a limited number of people into this auditorium, and once it was at capacity, that created some tension. People were banging on the doors trying to get in, and then things did calm down a bit. Uh, those who were able to get inside voicing their concerns about this plan after listening to a presentation from the city. A packed house inside Kelly High School's auditorium. Brighton Park residents here to voice their opinions on a planned migrant tent base camp in a private vacant lot owned by a company called the Sanchez Group at 38th and California. To Mayor Johnson, decision that shape our community need our input to commence construction without a word to us. That is not oversize disrespect. Last Thursday, protesters confronted 12th Ward Alderwoman Julia Ramirez out at the site, police having to escort her and a staffer to safety. That I was not aware that the city trucks had been working on the lot after the fact. I did not have aldermanic prerogative in this decision. I was not asked or given a vote. The city says it would house up to 2,000 migrants at this location and that it is currently conducting a site assessment, checking water and sewer lines, clearing trees and conducting environmental testing before any construction would start. The goal is to move the current 3,100 migrants out of police stations and O'Hare Airport as the city's 24 shelters are at capacity. Nobody asked us, nobody told us. We have more than few thousand people who signed a signature here who said no. We said no. Sign up now. People who live near the site say they're worried about public safety. The city says the base camps would have unarmed security and 11 p.m. curfew, but migrants would be free to come and go, having to sign in and out and go through metal detectors. I know their safety concerns. I know this district well. We will increase our patrols. We will put additional manpower here. Uh, but I will be transparent with you. With more people here, there may be more problems. City officials identifying other potential base camp and shelter sites, also calling on the feds to step in during this humanitarian crisis. We know that the root cause of this issue is the federal government and the fact that they are not living up to their responsibility when it's purely under their jurisdiction. Migrant families with children would be housed at this particular site. The city says it should know in the next few days whether or not this site is approved and it would communicate that with residents. And it sounds like these encampments can be constructed relatively quickly within a matter of days. Live in Brighton Park, Dana Rebic, WGN News. Thank you, Dana.